Hi, I'm Paul Drew from Production Expert. I've started a new recording project with James Ivey on drums and a great bass player called Dan Hawkins. Hi, I'm Paul Drew from Production Expert. Now, in the last video from this series, I explained how I've started a new recording project with James Ivey and a great bass player called Dan Hawkins. Now, in the last video, we looked at a rotor plugin on a guitar part. Now, in this video, we're going to look at distorting vocals and what to use. Now, in this particular mix, I used a plugin called Devil Lock from Sound Toys. But also we're going to look at a similar sounding plugin that's included with Studio One. So let's get started. Let's have a listen to the track without changing anything. I don't get where you're from. I made love in every language. Think I'll prepare this all wrong. And I'm too drunk to hear your accent. I'm tired of all this conversation. I need a little physical translation. Right, let's solo the vocal and hear that again. I don't get where you're from. Let's bypass the plugin. I make love in every language. Think of from Paris or Rome. But I'm too drunk and bring it to in. hear your accent. I'm tired of all this conversation. So what this plugin's doing is obviously slightly distorting it, but it's also lo-fying it by reducing the high and low frequencies. Let's play around with some of the controls and then I'm gonna load in red and see what we can do with the plugins that's included with Studio One. Need the little physical so you can really crush things inside Devil Lock. Let's turn the mix up. So as you can hear, that's really reduced the frequencies, but also really distorted stuff. Let's crunch it as well. Now that's a little bit too much, but let's hear it in the track. Bring the mix back a bit. So for me, that's still too much. So let's bring the crush back to about five. The crunch back to about five as well. Let's hear that. Okay, let's bypass that plugin and now let's load in red light distortion in the same point in the signal chain. And let's hear that. Now that sounds really good straight off the bat, but let's adjust some of the uh, parameters. I don't Turn up the high frequencies. So that's letting the full frequency through. Let's bring it back a bit. And now it's adjust the low frequencies. Let's leave it about 60 hertz. Let's leave the input where it is. And we can bring the mix back. So we get the clean mix or the 100% wet mix. Let's turn the drive up. Let's bring the mix back now. And let's change the tube setting. The Red Light Distortion plugin is really versatile, especially to use on vocals, and especially if you want to get that lo-fi sound. And for me, it's just as good as the Devil Lock Deluxe. So I'm Paul from Production Expert, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys next time.